expanding um, protest in support, I guess, of Hamas terrorists of Palestine, if, if I'm understanding correctly, Ben. Uh, what's going on there? Yeah, so it's... Uh, thank you. Uh, hey, Steve. So, yeah, there's uh, several hundred, I'd say a couple thousand pro-Palestinian. Uh, really, it's a combination of BLM, Antifa, far-leftists, uh, Muslim Brotherhood. We've got CARE out here as well, so I'm trying to walk and talk at the same time. They're all marching down to Washington, or excuse me, to the White House, and they're, they're demanding, I'm going to stop right here as they come by, they're demanding that uh, a ceasefire uh, in Gaza, but it's funny because I asked the question, well, what happens if Israel ceases fire? Will Hamas cease fire? And surprise, surprise, uh, there's no answer. So uh, what it sounds like is they won't be happy until Israel gives back the land of Israel. Sounds to me, Ben, like they won't be happy until Israel doesn't exist. I, I think that's probably more accurate. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. I, I, I should say that. That's uh, basically until, until Israel is completely destroyed. That's basically the message. Um, you've All got right. uh, Linda Sarsour, who's out here, and, I, and I've asked her multiple times, does Israel have a right to exist? They don't answer because they don't believe they, that it does. Ben, keep, uh, keep safe out there. It seems loud, it seems uh, raucous, and it seems a little bit uh, out of control. We'll be back to Ben in a few minutes. Ben, thank you for that update. That's in the streets of Washington, D.C., live as we speak.